I got this Rover 5 thing which has two motors planted on it. The R5 surely is a great thing. It has two powerful motors with gearbox placed in each one. The Rover has this oh. tank like rubbery wheel on it and a really strong and rather luxurious looking white body. This car is powered with 6 AA battery and it certainly needs a lot of current and power to move. So those puny looking batteries and supplies won't do. Okay, since this thing doesn't come with a driver or whatsoever, I thought it would be a good idea to make one which the title already suggests, I suppose. I also thought it would be cooler if I had it controlled with your smartphone via Bluetooth for ultimate fanciness. So let's get started. I first ordered some components online which arrived in less than an hour because technology. So I got this and that and this too and this. I used an HC06 Bluetooth module for the Bluetooth communication. For the motor driver, I used this L293D half H driver IC. If you don't know what's this edge thing, it's an IC that's designed to provide bidirectional current to drive the motor. So you can make the motor move that way and the other way and yeah. So these are the components I'll need. An LM78055 volt regulator, 3 2-pin screw terminals which I show only 2 because I forgot that I need 3. An L293D IC. A 5 volt Arduino Pro Mini, HC06 serial Bluetooth module, and a perf board which will be cut to the preferred size later. Next, I turn my soldering iron on to solder the male headers on the Arduino Pro Mini that isn't pre-soldered. I plug the header into a breadboard and solder it there. After that's done, I want to test the Bluetooth communication, so I connect RX of the HC06 to the TX of the Arduino, TX of the HC06 to the RX of the Arduino, VCC to VCC, ground to ground. Before uploading the sketch, be sure to unplug the HC06 module. So I upload the sketch, plug the HC06 back, and test it with my phone using an app called Bluetooth Terminal on the Play Store. Now you see it works turning an LED on the Arduino on and off without any problem. So let's continue to make the board. I first start by soldering the female header for the Arduino in a perf board I've cut earlier, then the two screw terminals for the motor output. After that's done, I don't want the HC06 to be upright straight on the board because it's vulnerable. So I desoldered the 90 degrees bent pin and replaced it with a straight male headers. So then I can solder the module in, then solder the socket for the L293D, then the other screw terminal for the power that I forgot to show earlier. And the last component is the LM78805 regulator whose pins are bent 90 degrees for ultimate beauty. Then do the wiring. So I turn on my power supply to some voltage higher than 7 volt and power the board up. Then I can test the code used on the breadboard earlier to show that it is indeed working despite I didn't use a multimeter to check the connection before because you know it's broken. My multimeter is broken. And now I can connect the Rover 5 with the module and start playing around with it. As you see, it is indeed powerful and you can add more features to it later. For now, that's it. And if you like it, like it. Click the subscribe button for more upcoming videos, comment or whatever you like, share maybe, I don't know. Be sure to watch my other videos too and you'll see me next time.